uh, like we may know now, uh, Griezmann has been linked with Barcelona for quite a while now. It's been like the transfer saga the, the whole summer, as well as with the uh, Hazard. But he's finally came. Barcelona decided to pay the 120, uh, I don't know, the release cost, 100, 120 euros. And they gave this insane amount on the release cost uh, for him. They gave like a 800 a million euros just to release him they signed her for five years i don't know i think it's just insane to have 800 million just for griezmann i know the quality of player he is uh, like i said in the video before i'm not going to criticize everything that barcelona does and i know they're moving this and they're doing this to win the champions league but i don't know some of the questions that arise to me is like where is Luis white is going to play is his role going to be limited now on that uh, griezmann is here um, is Griezmann going to be playing as the center forward, as a number nine? Or is he going to be taking either flank? I, I don't know, like the left or right, but I'm pretty sure the right is always for Messi. And that just raises questions like Coutinho, what is he going to do? Is he going to be moved so that Neymar can come in? Uh, what, what is what is going to happen there? Is he going to go to the midfield? Is he going to go to the bench? I don't know. A lot of these questions arise and like for me it's just there's not a clear cut answer because I don't know. The same thing with Dembele, you know, what what is he going to do? Like he's a promising prospect. He's like 20 something years old, like what 22 probably. And now he's going to be relegated even more in the bench. Like are we going to keep him? Are we going to let him go? Is he going to be the Barcelona of the future? Like what is what is what is going on, you know? Like these are just some of the basic questions that I'm asking myself. Not saying that Griezmann quali quality is not there, that he's not the striker that we need or whatever, but I don't know. There's better options out there that are way less money, way less tangle. Uh, there's just been the lawsuit filed by Atletico as well that the that Barcelona was trying to get in contract negotiations since like March, and that's prohibited and that they believe that 200 million was the right amount for Griezmann because that's his release clause and since they broke the the pact of of trying to get him on July 1st for 120 they should be given the 80 that's left and things like that you know it's just a big old tangle it's a big old um I don't, I don't know lawsuit I mean the both clubs didn't get get out right and I don't know I don't like this because it's just it's just affecting Barca as well. It's affecting the image. I know he's going to be the poster boy. He's going to be getting the shirt sales. He's going to be, on a monetary sense, I understand all all the deals. But, like, on the football sense, is like, where I see it, how he fits into the system, how he's going to be playing. Like, I don't know. Like, is he going to be playing on the left? He's going to be taking Coutinho's role? He's going to be taking... Uh, Dembele's role, I guess. Like, I don't see him as a player to this bordar, a player to take on one on ones, as a player to freaking open up the the attack on the other opposing team. I see him as like a striker, a number nine, you know. And we already have one, I guess. Yeah, he is the one for the future, and they signed him for five years. He's 28, meaning by the time they let him go, he'll be 33. I don't know what is gonna happen. I don't know if he may live out to those seasons, but like, if he doesn't turn out to what we want, if it, if he becomes a flop, I mean, I don't know. Getting rid of him also is gonna be super hard with that uh, that amount that we put as on his release clause, eight hundred million. Like that's just crazy. It's insane. And and like like I said, like I know the monetary sense, the marketing sense, all these. Uh, aspects that are very important to the game and just as a brand of popularity it builds a brand as well you know but like i said before in the past video this is just like some type of fantasy team this is some type of like fifa ultimate team it's some stuff that like you wish of right but for me i don't wish for stuff like i'd rather be playing right and playing well and having an an identity and following that identity and following what's guiding us to success which is like investing in the youth investing in the academy looking at young prospects and getting them for low money and then putting them out there but this is like some madrid model where all oh, we need players that are already made that are already 
uh, protagonistas in their league that are already like uh, the main the main man in whatever not their league but in their team or whatever and he was the main man at Atletico like you can't deny it whatever but he's he's been a failure there too like I don't know he said he wasn't gonna go he said he was gonna stay and I thought he was gonna stay I was like alright cool he's gonna be lord of the club but then like he when you look for him when you look for him to show up against Juve he was nowhere there Atletico in that whole in that whole instance in that whole eliminatoria and that whole elimination uh, of that knockout this guy was on uh, non-existent and as well as his whole team Atletico didn't even seem like a small percentage of what they showed when they beat them at home like 2-0 to zero. and that's what I'm saying like well, I'm telling you we need players that are going to be scoring the goals and like you can see his goal amount percentage I made a video of like him could be comparing him to Piatek because I prefer Piatek that's just my opinion you might not agree but Piatek has like 20 something goals in the league like 23 and then Griezmann, what do you have, like 16? Like, I don't know, for 120 million, you better at least be having 20. That's just my opinion, especially if it's the Spanish league because everybody be saying the Premier League is the best. So then you should be having like 20-something, 20 20-plus, 20 you know? I mean, it's just insane to me. I don't I don't see, like, what what is going to result from this. I know he's probably a better fit for the club and a better long-term option than Neymar. Neymar is way more scandalous. Neymar this, Neymar that. Neymar is not loyal, but the same the same type of characteristics I see him as well in him. Like him wanting to be with NBA players, him wanting to be in the States, him saying his objectives that I just need the Champions League and then I can leave for the States. Like I don't see a long term plan. Like I don't see him focus. And like I see him just going into that club de amigos, that club of friends that basically runs the whole club which is not what i what i would like you know the club needs to be run by the president the club needs to be run by the directives and i don't know i just see him going into that little uh group of friends that little posse that little squad whatever and just being a a main voice as well and uh demanding things and since he has the popularity we live in this era where instagram where social media is like taking so much into account and like these two guys since they have so much global attraction they have to play at Barcelona they just have to because if we get anybody else they're just gonna be like who who is that whatever this and that but like I, I don't I don't care like, I'd rather have the results playing uh, a style of play like we need to and just identifying with what we need to because this this is not what it is you know I've said it before I've said it on Rakitich how uh, his ego or whatever is getting in the way of him growing and you should just sell these players for me Danny Alves shouldn't have been sold I don't know if he was in that club of friends but this guy's still showing out he was the best player in the Copa America and they sold him and he still had like he's, he's showing out and he's 36 we could have used that right back if you're gonna use Sergio Roberto I don't know like I said these are just things that tick me off um, but like I said I'm, I'm a supporter of Barcelona I'm a supporter of of just uh, football and like I got to support my team. I don't really think we're going to do anything in the Champions League, but we'll see what happens, you know. Anything could happen. Um, I'm going to support them in their decision and I just hope that everything turns out good. Like and subscribe to, to the video.